Hey guys, welcome to TJ Tech. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Ugreen, it's a USB 3.0 to gigabit Ethernet adapter for, uh, it works for MacBooks as well as Windows computers. And I know that it actually works with a Mac because that's what it said on the website. There will be links to everything in the description below. So let's get right into it. Obviously, uh, this is not relevant to some of the newer MacBooks because those are all USB Type-C. But for my MacBook, which is a slightly older version, I don't have an Ethernet adapter, but I do have enough USB, normal old school USB ports. So, simple covering over here, comes in a little cardboard box, lift it up like that. And you get the USB to Ethernet adapter, a CD. I don't have a CD drive and that will not work on your Mac. Do not put that into your Mac if you have a slot loading Mac or even a slot loading Windows computer. Do not put this kind of CD in, it will get stuck. And of course, some literature. The device itself has a little bit of Ugreen branding on it, which is kind of nice actually, surprisingly. I didn't expect it to be this good feeling because it's pretty cheap. You can see that it's got the little blue uh, USB 3.0 indication over there and it comes in this little plastic surrounding it so it says U green over there and it's got what looks like Chinese characters to me pretty straightforward looks very nice actually it's got this glossy feel which is a little bit of a fingerprint magnet but not too bad I gotta say looks really good build quality overall I'm, I'm quite impressed with this so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this into my Mac and let's Let's see what it looks like. All right, so what we need to do first is to download the Ugreen drivers. Um, this is one of the unfortunate steps that I think doesn't really make all that sense because in order to get the internet to work, you need the internet to begin with, which doesn't make much sense. So in case you know that you are traveling, it's best for you to test this at home where you have Wi-Fi available and you have Ethernet connection so you can download the drivers, install it, connect the Ethernet and check that everything is working beforehand. So don't set this, don't take this and travel without setting it up first. Now, in order to download the files, uh, you can check the links in the description below rather than going through all the searching that I'm doing here. Um, I have all the links for Windows and for Mac OS. Uh, for Windows, unfortunately, they only have Windows 7 drivers as far as I could find out. But I believe that should work for Windows 8, 8.1, 10 and above. So you should be perfectly fine. So for now, I'm going to show you how to do the Mac drivers because I'm on a Mac. I'm just going to hit download. I'm going to save it on my desktop somewhere and let it finish. I'm going to unzip it, go to the desktop, open up the file, double click it because it has a guide. I'm just going to click the DMG file, open it up, and then from there it's basically just like following the steps. And now we're just going to let it finish installing. This could take a bit of time. I'm going to speed this thing up. All right, so we're ready, and I'm going to restart this computer now. OK, so my computer is restarted. I have turned off the Wi-Fi, and I've plugged the device in. I just need to plug in the Ethernet, and immediately you see that the lights have turned on. And that basically means that I have internet connection, data is going through. So let's test this out on the computer. And there you go, it works perfectly fine. I mean, there's really not much more to check it out here, but yep, works perfectly fine. Can't complain. Let's give one of the videos a shot. Works the as Samsung you would want it to. Yes. There's absolutely no problems with the video. There's no problem with the speed. The speed's really good. So there you have it. That was the unboxing and review of the Ugreen USB 3.0 to gigabit Ethernet network adapter. Um, I definitely like this. It's simple, straightforward. The only issue that I have with this is that you need to have an internet connection to get this to work in the first place. So if you know you're gonna to go to a place that has only Ethernet as their mode of internet, you should probably install the drivers, read their manual. So all the instructions are here. It's pretty straightforward. I'll have links to everything in the description below so you can easily set that up. But it's a pretty straightforward device. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. 
Uh, the speeds on whatever I did was really good. I had no issues with any of the speeds at all. I think it's a great device. I can highly recommend this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If any of you have this device, let me know what your experience was. Once again, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a good one.